world, my name is Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have talked about my experiences of living on the autism spectrum, then I like to give my two cents about what's going on with autism and the media, and finally I like to blog about things that I am passionate about such as this year's 2014 Dragon Con show which will take place Labor Day weekend 2014 and I'm so excited about that since I worked on my blog stuff there for the first time and that was epic. So, Anyway, I had talked about my experiences of celebrating the 4th of July and living on the autism spectrum and really talking about some interesting memories and experiences versus how I think about things and see things versus how others see things. Anyway, um, I wanted to talk about somewhat of a negative memory, but it really goes along quite well with uh, how autistics think. So anyway, I was hosting a uh, 4th of July party in 2010, and I had a close friend come over, and we'd known each other for about eight years, and... Um, we had gone and seen fireworks in past years together and uh, observed the 4th of July together because we considered each other like family. Well, anyway, this time she came with her fiancé since she was due to get engaged in November. Not engaged, but married. And um, we were getting ready to see the fireworks after the party, and I was hoping that they would go too. Well, it turned out that her husband uh, didn't like crowds and... He had uh, worked at a very uh, stressful job, and he wanted to go back and rest and spend some time alone with her. Well, being me, I was pretty mad about it. I um, had basically thrown them out by handing them a full bag of trash and saying, Excuse me, can you take this trash to the dump? It's full. So, I mean, it basically it shut me down, and um, it just it made me really angry. And the point that I'm trying to make here is that... Uh, when um, an autistic's routine gets interrupted, um, they will get upset. And in my case, my routine got interrupted because that girl was my entire world. So, um, and I remember feeling really mad. I felt like um, her husband was um, intruding in my routine and he destroyed my routine. And so, I'm not saying it was his fault. He just, he just destroyed my routine and it made me angry. So, anyway, um, to give you an example, uh, for someone on the autism spectrum de dealing with change like that, it's almost like uh, being in the, I don't know, a windowless concrete basement and suddenly someone pulls out the light bulbs or turns off the light and everything's pitch black and you have to allow your eyes to adjust to the dark. So, uh, anyway, uh, for those of you that live on the autism spectrum, could you give me some similar analogies? What's up? What's dealing with change like for you? And even further, what's being, what's change like for you and how did you handle the situation and what's a more positive way to handle things? So, um, if uh, you have anything else to say, um, please be sure to comment below and um, do not forget to subscribe. Until next time, I'm signing off now and have a happy and safe 4th of July weekend. Bye.